Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today, as per usual, let's go over Tesla, let's go over the market, let's figure out what is happening and what we can expect moving into next week after a pretty massive week for Tesla, probably one of the most important or biggest weeks I can remember for Tesla in quite some time. So with all that being said and done, uh, let's get into it. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. And of course, if you're interested, my membership section on YouTube is live. The link is below in the description of the video for $3 a month or $2.99 a month. You get access to all my thoughts, posts, updates, and whatnot as Tesla is moving throughout the day during the actual trading day itself. And there's, you know, a lot of community members in here that also share their thoughts that, you know, they seem to know exactly what they're talking about as well. And they also help other people. And then it's just a community on top of my own thoughts and my assistance, hopefully, and whatever. You get the idea. If you're interested, the link is below. But let's just jump, jump right into it. Tesla closing the day in the green, up about 1% on the day, which compared to the market is, at least compared to tech, rather, QQQ, pretty much in line, honestly. But with that being said, still a pretty solid day for tesla so nice follow through but let's talk about what this means and what we can expect moving forward so first and foremost i actually want to start on the weekly the weekly is probably my favorite time frame here this is probably the most important time frame in my opinion as well so let's start with the weekly first so there's a few things to discuss here right um so let's just let's just get the bearish stuff out of the way the potential bearish stuff out of the way and i don't even think it's that bearish personally but let's just talk about the potential bearishness here first get that out of the way and then we'll talk about the bullish aspects next right so bearish the only bearish thing i can see here is the fact that this weekly candle potentially can be a hanging man candle a hanging man candle is essentially a hammer candle but at the top of a trend right at the top of a rally right it's essentially just a reverse hammer candle if that makes sense where you pretty much get a hammer candle at the top of a rally and that signals a uh, a potential reversal on its way right now there's a couple of issues here in my opinion so here's an example if you, if you kind of you know look closely you can see hammer candles right here at the top of the trends before a little bit of a reversal the issue with this one is the fact that it's not the best looking hammer candle in the sense that first and foremost the candle width is too long uh, too too big in my opinion right it's it's technically the wick is longer but you'd want to see a longer wick than this relative to the size of the the thick part of the candle or at the very least see a the, the, the thick part of the candle to be sh a lot shorter, like half the size, if anything, honestly. So that's, you know, number one, it's, it's, it's a bit of a funky looking, uh, 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 hanging man candle. The second thing is the fact that I personally don't care about these, this candle. Like I know there's people, some people like it, some people look at it, some people view it as a potential, yeah, bearish, you know, reversal signal, whatever, whatever. I personally don't, I don't like the idea of it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me personally. Maybe I haven't looked enough into it, but from what I understand about it, doesn't make that much sense to me. I don't like it. So just my personal opinion, even though it is potentially somewhat of a hanging man candle, eh, not a fan of it. So I, I don't I don't put too much value into it. But the, uh, the other bearish things uh, that potentially might be coming up is what we talked about yesterday, how, you know, I do expect us to rally. But, you know, we're, we are entering probably the most important resistance area uh, possible for Tesla here. Let me move this for now. Right. For Tesla here, which, of course, is going to be pretty much entering this 260 level and closer to 265, where we're entering, again, a massive resistance area where it's a potential retest of this bear flag breakdown. And, of course, the final boss trend line from all time highs, which is also this red line, which is also coinciding with about 265 which I do think we'll probably get to next week. So that's the bearish thing. Again, it doesn't mean that it has to be bearish. It just means that that's an area I'd be really carefully watching. And if there is an area to reject, and if there is an area that still can make Tesla look overall extremely bearish still, and even still go back to potentially even as low as the 100s, this would be the area to reject that to potentially still have that come to fruition. So very crucial area. But of course, if you break above it, Tesla's looking like astronomically bullish, like, like just really bullish if we break above that level essentially to make it simple 270 and close a weekly candle so that's the bearishness let's talk about the bullishness right the bullishness there well there's quite a lot of bullishness so first and foremost an absolute obvious breakout of this overall bull flag right we've been in this bull flag for several months now and this is looking like the most obvious breakout you can ask for like this i don't think you can look at this and even question that this is a breakout like this is <laughs> this is a breakout Plain and simple, as textbook as it comes. Beautiful looking candle, beautiful looking breakout, decent looking volume as well, right? It's very respectable volume, not crazy high, but you know, respectable. MACD is looking like it wants to flip bullish, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Actually, sorry, before we continue with the bullishness, I did forget about one thing. Let me bring out this TW pivot. There's one thing to note actually for a potential, again, not bearish yet, but potential bearishness coming up is this pivot, right? This pivot usually signals, it's a pretty good signal in my opinion on the weekly to determine bottoms and tops, right? So whenever you have uh, the line that goes up like this in red, this, the more, I guess, taller the line is, the more kind of red it gets, the higher the risk of that being a top. And especially when you have this red line, like you can see here with the hollow background, that's one thing, or transparent background, hollow transparent, is that the same thing? I don't know. That's when things get technically, you know, you want to be a little bit careful, at least for this uh, uh, 
for a potential top signal when it's like this. Obviously, the flip is true when it's down here like this, right? But, you know, we are starting to get a little bit up there, a little bit extended here. Not too bad. Yeah, there's definitely still more room to run, but, you know, it's getting a little bit extended. So take that into account. We'll continue taking a look at it. And even if this becomes an issue in the future, we will, of course, uh, it will still take a couple of weeks, at least in my opinion, before it does, which gives us more than enough time to at the very least come to my 265 target. And then we kind of revisit that from there. So thought I'd mention that very quickly, but that's, in my opinion, important to understand. Because again, just because things are looking bullish now doesn't mean they'll continue looking bullish forever, right? You have to face reality sometimes. So, but again, looking back to the actual bullishness, right? Breakout, beautiful candle, decent volume. Our size looking pretty okay. Uh, MACD is actually looking like it wants to flip bullish. And Tesla looks like it really does look like it wants to run up all the way to again the 260s potentially 265 which is my main price target right we're above all the major moving indicators the 21 ema 200 day moving average 100 day moving average 50 day moving average on the weekly well above all those bouncing right off of them on the weekly perfectly after holding a few weeks uh, a couple weeks in a row so looking pretty darn good not a lot of things that can be unhappy about with this finish on this candle on the weekly time frame so in my opinion if we do not see 265 potentially even as early as next week i'd be surprised i would generally i would genuinely be surprised if we do not see at least 260s, if not 265, potentially higher if we break through, but that's my first step. So that's that. Let's go over to the daily quickly. Daily is also looking pretty solid, right? Closing at almost the highs of the day, closing higher than yesterday, closing higher than any of these candles, even remotely closed out, including yesterday's candle. Our size looking arguably bullish here in all honesty making higher highs along with the stock so there's no like divergences like bearish divergences happening so that's looking great macd's flipped finally bullish once again right it almost flipped bearish but you know we talked about how it was not a very convincing one but now it's looking like it wants to continue flipping bullish and the trend looks to continue to be bullish so that's looking great as well the squeeze meter still hasn't picked a full direction but you know the red circle is still there but also looking pretty decent right taking a quick look at the squeeze meter on the weekly same concept you know the the lines are retracting from the bearish side and you know we're still getting a red circle so the direction hasn't actually been picked i think if we break above 265 the direction will pick to the upside but there's still you know some caution there of course like i said but the point is that we're still squeezing we're still building up the momentum to explode to a certain direction and once we do oh boy let's just say i would want to be short if we explode to the upside i'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there because that is going to be painful for the shorts now that's important to understand too now the daily like i said overall though looking great no complaints above every single important moving average right go ahead and bring up all these bad boys here 100 above 21 ema above 50 above 200 is well below us we're obviously well above that as well so absolutely no complaints and tesla is just looking bullish i don't see how you can take a look at this chart right now and be like yeah it's looking bearish i just i can't i don't understand how you can possibly think that as it stands right here right now obviously we can eventually turn bullish maybe at 265 like i said but as of right now at 253 and a half let's just say it looks bullish it, I just, it looks bullish. Plain and simple, it looks bullish. 65 minute chart or one hour chart, right? This is where things are a little bit less convincing in my opinion, but still looking pretty solid, right? Overall, we're consolidating sideways here a little bit after a nice, beautiful rally. It's looking pretty bullish. Potential ascending triangle here as well, right? You can argue that for sure. And it's looking pretty solid here as well, right? You can either make an argument that we're looking like a little bit of a bull flag and we broke out like this, right? You can make or bull pennant and we broke out something like this, or you can even do something like this, whatever, right? You can argue that we broke out, or you can argue that it's essentially a, uh, a rising triangle, which looks something like this, which we, in my opinion, also did arguably roughly break out as well because we never closed candles above this line, rejected several times, but now we technically close above it. So ultimately, less convincing of a close but still looking like a close that looks like it wants to lead into a nice start to early next week so it doesn't look like we'll be getting that drawdown to the potential retest for that 240s uh like low-ish 240s yet right that's the, the, it still might come later but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen just yet because of just the strength that we closed that and the potential breakout on the 65 minute chart so take that into account whatsoever and as if that wasn't enough on the 15 minute chart we were also setting up a hidden bullish divergence where essentially as we were setting up um higher highs or higher lows you can see here higher low higher low higher low constant higher lows like this pretty simple stuff you can even look at it like this whatever same concept right constant higher lows we were constantly making lower lows on the RSI. That is a hidden bullish divergence where the stock making higher lows and in this case, the RSI making lower lows. Hidden bullish divergence and so far has been playing out and it so far looks like it wants to play out in that fashion um, and it's looking also pretty solid. So there's just a lot of things that in my opinion, just as it stands right now, that are looking phenomenal for Tesla starting uh, or going into early next week. It looks like it wants to continue rallying. I'd be genuinely surprised if we do not see at least 260s or again, my price target of 265 probably next week at this rate. Honestly, it wouldn't even surprise me if it happens on Monday straight up, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. 
because of just the shrink that we closed at, right? It's just, it doesn't look like it's done yet. Tesla has been lagging the market substantially. QQQ essentially hit all time highs, I believe, if I'm not mistaken entirely. So, you know, there's only a move of about four and a half percent on Tesla left to go up to my main price target, which isn't a lot. That can easily happen in one day for Tesla. That's just, that's nothing. That's just a walk in the park for a stock like Tesla, when it, especially when it starts moving. So, uh, Again, I, it wouldn't shock me if Monday or Tuesday we reach my price target. It generally wouldn't shock me. But again, with things like UQQ essentially hitting all-time highs or at least exceptionally close to them, like Tesla is not even remotely close to all-time highs. So it's definitely been lagging behind and it looks like it wants to finally you know, come to the party a little bit late, but nonetheless, better late than never. So we'll see how that actually plays out as well. Taking a quick look at options flow as well. Let's see what that is happening as well. So let's go ahead and increase this premium. We have an absolutely astronomical put coming in here. Three and a half, pretty much million in premium. 350 put expiring uh, January 19th. So it's very, very in the money, exceptionally in the money. But nonetheless, it is a heavy, heavy print. Heavy, heavy put. Doesn't mean it has to be right. But there is someone clearly betting on some downside coming in. But uh, we'll see how right they are, I guess. We have another one here for 2.2 million. 260 calls expiring much sooner, December uh, 29th. So that's a lot sooner. Another 1 million print here, 15th of December that just expired today. So these technically are a little bit delayed. So maybe they're already gone. Maybe this put is already gone. Who knows for sure? But the point is, is the fact that there are whales betting on both sides here. So, you know, we'll see what actually comes to fruition from that. But just strictly looking at technical analysis, I think it looks bullish. I think it wants to continue. And I think that early next week should be a beautiful continuation for Tesla, irregardless of the market, at least in my opinion. Right? I think Tesla likes to do its own thing, as, as I'm sure we've seen many times, where regardless of what the market is doing, Tesla is just doing its own thing. It's in its own little world. It's, it's essentially its own index at this point, And it just does whatever it wants to do. Screw everything else. And I think that might continue. So with that being said, that's kind of the main things I'm looking at. And that's the main stuff. So uh, the last thing I guess we'll take a look at, not this, it's going to be this right here, right? Also, you can see on the daily, nice, beautiful bounce off the massive volume profile. And as we're entering this territory here, you can see the volume is decreasing. And now this massive volume here, pretty much in the 250s, if not slightly lower, which is exactly actually where we bounced off today, you can see, right? Pretty much almost perfection should act as a support. And so far today's candle is proving that to be the case. So yeah, I don't know. Let's just say I wouldn't want to be short to Tesla here. I, you know, maybe you don't want to bet on too much more upside because you're a little bit cautious, which is I can I kind of understand. But I definitely wouldn't want to be short. I, I, personally, at least just from my point of view, I would not want to be short here at all. 265 might be a different story, though. We'll see. But with that being said, all in all, looking bullish. And I think 265 should be next relatively soon. And uh, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And as usual, I will, of course, see you into next week. And uh, should be another exciting week. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Peace.